Ladies and boys and girls, in this video I am going to show you how to create the super cool 3D camera zoom out animation in After Effects. By the way, this animation is from one of the scenes I created for my second channel, Anubzilla. If you haven't checked it out yet, go take a look after this video. So alright without any further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, we are going to create a new composition. Width 90-20, height 1080, duration 10 seconds. Click OK and we are ready to go. Let's build our background. Right click, new, solid and choose any dark color, rename it as background. Now we'll import some images and videos into the project and drag in the scatter image onto the timeline. Let's scale it down just a bit. Next, let's give our character image a little pop by adding the tint effect from the effects and presets panel. Now let's bring in some test using the type 2. I'm going with the font poppins and font type bold, red color and placing it just above the character. Make sure all your layers are set to 3D by clicking this little cube icon. Now it's time for some animation. I will select the character image, open position and add a keyframe. Move it down at the start and up after a few frames. Then right click both keyframes and ease ease them. Let's animate the opacity to start at 0 percentage, then ramp up to 100 percentage. For the test layer, we are adding the opacity flicker preset. From effects and presets to the test for a nice pulsing effect. Now let's drop in our green screen video right under the character. Make it 3D, adjust scale and position, and use key light 1.2 to key out the green color. Just use the eyedropper to select the green. I am also adding an arrow video overlay and position it above the character, make it 3D. Time for another test, I will use in Poppins font type medium. Pink color. And add the typewriter effect from effects and presets. Let me place this in keyframe closer. Now let's mask the bottom part of the character. Use the rectangle mask tool to create a mask like this. Go to character layer and check invert the mask. And increase the feather to about 100. Soft and smooth. Now let's bring in a YouTube logo image. And use a paint tool, let me create a mask around the triangle portion. Duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D or Command plus D. Invert the mask on 1. And hide the triangle image for now. Let's create the zoom out effect. Right click, new, camera. Then add a null object. By right click, new, null object. Make it 3D and parent the camera to the null using the pick whip. Substitute view mode so you can see what's happening in 3D space. Move the YouTube logo and triangle image behind the camera by dragging the Z-axis.
set position keyframe on the dart, move forward a few frames and change the C value to zoom out. Let's reveal a triangle now. Keyframes is position, slide it in from the right, then center it up. Let me increase the scale size a little bit. Eases them for smooth motion. Now select all layers except the YouTube logo. Keyframe opacity from 100% to 0% for a nice fade out. Finally, let's spice things up. Add the deep glow effect a third party plugin, link in the description, or you can use the built in glow effect if you don't have it. Adjust the exposure radius and it look just right. Yeah, and that's it, listen, boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you for my next video.